I have here a different configuration, a different set of magnets. I put on a rail in which the magnetic field is the same along this rail. So the superconductor will move without any friction on this rail. Let's see if it works. I'm going to cool it a little bit more. And then I'm going to lock it on top of this rail. And you see, it just levitates. If I had a 20 meters long rail, it would just go without any friction. You see, the amount of energy I need to move this disk is minimal because there's no friction. If I take this circular rail, you see these are just two, cir two circles of magnets. And if I take the disk and put this on the rail, you'll see that it immediately starts moving. I give it a little push, and that's enough. It will keep rotating until it warms up. So there's no friction at all. Now, I can do the same thing on this rail, but upside down, because again, this is not magnetic repulsion. So if I take this disk and pin it below the rail, it will just move below the rail. Again, forget everything you know. <laughs> this is not classical physics. You forgot? Okay. <laughs> 